I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game that we say I need a break Time to stand strong Yup, I was definitely back at work. I work in the middle of Western Australia in a small mining town called Leonora with a massive population of around 700. Summers are hot. Temperatures can reach 50 degrees and we have weeks on end of 40 plus days. Everything is so dry out here. But some years, like this one, we get huge cyclonic low pressure systems that push right down into the desert. This completely changes the dynamics of the land. We have flash flooding, the dry riverbeds come to life, and relief is brought to those that were fortunate enough to survive the drought. job's epic. I pretty much full drive around the remote outback, seeing and accessing places not many people reach. Unfortunately, at the same time these cyclone rains hit, I have to drive out to the most remote locations we access. The main roads are pretty solid. The others? I use these tracks once a year, so with this weather, it makes things interesting. 40 degrees plus, rain and humidity, and flash flooding. Until you see it, you won't believe it. The ground is so flat here and I'm testing water levels in the lowest areas in creek lines. So when it rains and it builds up quick, I have to be on the ball or I can get stuck. So not much water at the moment, but um, you can see the clouds up there starting to build up. So it can actually flood down here pretty quick. Across them just then there are a few puddles. Um, but yeah, up here, you know, it's only a few drainage channels. So if I don't get out in time, I'm going to be stuck. All directions. <laughs> See how we go. I've just got another message from my boss. He's uh, just sent me a picture of back at site, which is looking, looking pretty rough. But he's saying on the radar, it looks like it's a bit east of Leo, so it should be good. Just trying to write back that I'm the furthest away right now and um, 
depending on the weather I'll go into the other creek line but like I said no you can get caught out pretty bad Woo! last one I can get out of here I quickly got out and did my last bit of work as the first bits of rain started to fall first few sprinkles now that it's starting to rain this will all go under pretty goddamn quick look at that there is water building up everywhere the road it's been raining for about a minute and it's already so slippery oh yeah i need to get out of here by the time i got back to that first creek it was millimeters from topping over and if you get stuck on this side of the creek you aren't getting home i was pretty lucky i drove out the main road which had water coming across it everywhere but a few days later when i thought it was all dried up again i got caught out it's always the green bits <laughs> just come through so much road up here this all dried up and there's a bit of green still and yep oh i've been bogged like six times this week so i'm not even going to try and get out and hope for the best that tire's pretty low instantly so max track time i'm standing here this fine and then look at underneath it's like soup look at this ah oh what like three hours from hold it there ginger let's take a second my speed dealers are epic my uniform matches my hair and i'm pretty much a 10 but i don't want you looking at me look at that sky it's blue and clear watch how quickly it builds up in the background right try one more time got some sticks under there No sunny out now it started raining but oh I highly doubt this is gonna work this is my last chance oh, I tried everything I was dropping little sticks down the max tracks but nothing would grip <laughs> I was gone from the start my axle was on the ground and I knew it to call for help the lamest bog but couldn't get out you got a copy John almost out now I cleaned up a tree on the way just got to get through there before this storm comes <laughs> ah! I'd sunk into a tiny bit of wet ground but then after some rain, we ended up with two cars bogged and a 200 meter bog site. After hours of digging and more rain still falling around us, we were glad to be getting out of there. Get muddy down here, mate. The most important thing after getting bogged is celebrate. A boom, 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 let me say way oh. Way oh. I said a boom, 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 let me say way oh. It was a massive few weeks at work and I was super stoked to be getting on that plane and heading to Bali. I only had one logistical nightmare to go. The best part of the week. I'm trying to remember where you parked your motorbike. Ugh. It's 1am, just finished work. Looking for my motorbike. You. Next week, it's Lucy's birthday. I give her a surprise birthday present that includes a free swim and a plane ticket to the most amazing destination we still have ever been. I'll give you a hint. It's the next set of islands across from where we reached on our motorbike trip. We continue exploring these islands to the east on a small Indonesian fishing boat that we stay on for three days. We find some super clear water, get back to catching our own dinner and meet some dragons and much more. So click subscribe and come see where we fly into next week. Nothing less, your check is on chest, what's happening next? Yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second. This life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing. New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession. All in his possession, you got the retention. I leave an impression and take a redemption. Just kill no discretion. Your mind is a weapon. 11-11, it's time for progression. Oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me.